I'm like, don't touch me at certain parts of my cycle. And other parts, I'm like, just want to hug and cuddle. In the book, I described the sexual excitation and inhibition models as being like the gas pedal and the brake. If you think about like a train track, this train track is like your nervous system and the train is the sex signal trying to get to the brain. But if all they're laying down is blockades all day, and by they, I mean everybody in your life. You could have a boss that sucks or a client that did something and that lays down a blockade. You may come home and be like, I want to talk to my partner about how sh my day was and your partner's like, not now, the game's on, blockade. And then it may be a situation where it's like, oh God, I'm not feeling good in my body, blockade. And then when your partner comes in and they try to touch you, that train signal cannot get to your brain because of all those blockades, none of which is intentional. This is just the reality of being you. And that feeling of like, I don't wanna be touched is like you're raw with all of this stress and you just feel overwhelmed. And any more sensory input is like just pushing the train off the tracks. And you're like, not only are we not going to sexy town, but like, you better get away from me because I'm about to go like nuclear right now. Mm, wow. Do men even comprehend sometimes that like you're asking to enter someone's body? Like you're inside our bodies. Like very that's intimate. intense. The level of trust and relaxation and ease that needs to happen. Like things have to be going right. I think if men were clued in more to all of this, they would understand just like how complex we are. Send this podcast to your mans, y'all. Hey.